we're seeing the, the the next fight that you have coming up on Friday night, Lamont Roach versus um, um, uh, 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 Figaro, Figaro, Figaro McCory. McCory, excuse Figaro, me. Yes, Figaro thank McCoury. you. Yeah. Um, that is a championship fight. So, you know, take us through that fight. How did, how did that fight come right. about? And you're moving from Florida to D.C. for this one, correct? Yeah. So we're just, you know, that was an opportunity. Look, I, I think that um, we're testing the waters. I want to see how the team does. I want to see how the machine operates. You know, in the end of the day, you can have all the great ideas in the world, but you got to execute. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to force it down my team's throat one day. So we're going to start picking up opportunities to put on bigger and better fights out of town in arenas and do a bigger production. And again, I'm the turtle. We're going to take it slow and just make sure we get it right. So um, and, you know, it's funny, Sean, um, Lamont uh, senior and junior kind of remind me of you and your father. Mm. They're serious people, right? They 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 are. They're no joke. The father really knows what he's doing. He's a businessman. Uh, the son is very disciplined and they take their stuff very seriously. And they came to me and said, look, we, we don't want to sell out to a promoter. We'd like to stay on our own. We want to be independent. Yeah. And but we don't have TV. And I said, all right, well, let's 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 get something together. So. It's really about Lamont Seniors, the promoter, and Lamont Jr. and they they, they want to do it their way, and I respect that. So from that perspective, we got together. They said, "Well, I want to do it in D.C." It's like, "Well, we have our own network. You can do it wherever you want." Well, I want to do it on this date. I said, "You can do whatever date you want. We don't have the restrictions of networks." Yeah. Right. We have total flexibility to do it what we want when we want. Those are mild little things that people overlook, but it makes a difference to the business side. Absolutely. So um, sure enough, that's how that came about. And um, look, we're putting just a really good Wednesday night fight card underneath Lamont and Fergal. Nice. But it's going to come off. I mean, we, we spent a little more um, on, uh, on that co-main event with Lester Martinez and Carlos Gongora just to make sure we give that show a little extra Absolutely. that it deserves. Yeah. So we, we, we went big on that one. And then uh, Dylan Ghani and Telez is going to be a barn burner. So you've got a, um, Dylan Ghani and Telez is, is really a main event on Wednesday Night Fight. And that's the opener, so to speak, on this show. And then Lester Martinez was the WBC uh, prospect of the year, 17-0, and 0, a hell of a uh, fighter at 168. And he's going against a proven guy who's been considered one of the contenders in the division for a while in Gongora. Um, and those are going to be two evenly matched action fights, burners. And then comes Lamont, you know, defending his belt and, and at home, his first title defense. It's an optional. Some people may say that's not so much a 50-50 fight. But, you know, Sean, mm -hmm. um, I think Elijah Garcia was a big favorite against Kyron Davis last yeah, week. Buddy. Yeah, buddy. I think uh, Russell was a big favorite against Puello last week. Yeah. I think Matias was a big favorite against Power last week. Yeah. So um, people shouldn't sleep on Fergal McCrory. He's a tough Irish kid, 16-0. He's never lost. You know those guys who've never lost? Sometimes they're stubborn about finally taking their first loss. Yeah. So, and I think this, the fight's going to be stylistically fun. I think the, the Irish kid's going to come out gunning. And um, for as long as it lasts, it's going to be entertaining, that's for sure. Yeah, when I looked at the main event fight, I've known Lamont for some time, and having a look at McCory, uh, it really didn't look to me like the, like the, the for the sake of words, typical Wednesday night pro box TV fight, both guys going back to back and forth. This is a war from top to bottom and and everybody is is excited and 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 pleased because they saw blood all night but this one stylistically I think has the makings to be a really good championship fight did you consider that at all when you made this fight like hey this doesn't look like a typical pro box TV fighter was it just hey we have an opportunity here to help another fighter and it's a championship fight kind of take us through what you went through yeah. as a promoter making this fight yeah, I think that, you know, Lamont basically said, Senior said, look, it's his first title defense. It's a voluntary. He's coming home. We'd like him to be able to, you know, take a one that may not be as dangerous. Sure. And I said, look, 
he, obviously that's the way boxing is. You got that right. Um, I'll support it with a couple 50, 50 bangers, but um, let me, let me choose that fighter. Let me make sure that I'm bringing somebody in that I know is going to bring the action. Let at least stylistically, let's set this up where we've got an undefeated Irish kid who we know is going to come hard and go for it. And, you know, and then we'll let the chips fall where they may. So, um, like I said, on paper, it may not be 50, 50, but like I said, last week proved that on paper doesn't always pan out. And I think stylistically, the fight's going to be very entertaining. Gary Jonas, everybody from pro box TV, just stay right there. We got, we want to bring Lamont Roach in, uh, the, the, the champion coming to the Portaway podcast. Welcome Lamont Roach. What's up guys? Y'all can hear me? Yes, sir. We got you. What's up Lamont? How are you doing? What's up, man? How y'all doing? Doing great, good, man. man. You, good to you, see you. You're a good five, six days away from this fight, man. How we feeling? I'm feeling good, man. One more point. Uh, I know I'm in shape. I'm in dynamite shape, honestly. For real, for real. And um, I'm just ready to go. Lamont, man. Uh, yeah, I, I was at that fight where you won the title against Hector Garcia, Benavidez Andrade undercard. Mm -hmm. um, and you just, you, you had a little bit more edge to you than Garcia did. You wanted that fight more. I mean, on top of all the technical stuff you did, with your right hand against the southpaw, but it was just obvious that, you know, you were very hungry that night to become champion, and of course you won the title. You know, in this fight where, where you know, sometimes it could be looked at as a speed trap fight. It's a guy who ha probably hasn't fought in the United States, um, doesn't have the experience you have with 16 fights, but he's undefeated and he's hungry. I think an Irish kid just upset Cordina, Anthony Kakachi, and so, you know, what. Where are you leaning more towards where, like we saw Espinoza over the weekend, where they say a, a champion gets better by 50%. You get 50% better as a champion than you did as a, a challenger. You, you think we, we see more of that? Or how do you avoid ha letting this be a speed trap fight where you're overlooking uh, Fear Gold McCory <clears throat> a little bit? I mean, uh, uh, I'm, I'm on the getting better side uh, for sure. Um, you know, I'm still as hungry as I was uh, fighting Hector, man. Uh, I obviously I'm the champion now, but I'm still not where I want to be. I'm not. Uh, I'm not satisfied. Um, all that was when I got the belt was gratification, and uh, I was overwhelmed with joy. But when it's all settled in, it's just like, all right, now you got more to do. So um, I think this is the first. This is the first stepping stone to uh, proving that uh, because in my last fight, it wasn't actually, because, you know, it takes two in there sometimes. It takes two. Uh, obviously, we thought Hector was going to come out there and, you know, rumble his ass off, honestly. And, um, you know, that was, you know, that wasn't really the case. It was more of a technical fight. And um, I know he's not better than me on every aspect. I know he wasn't better than me in every aspect in the ring. But um, it just made for a lackluster for some fans, you know what I'm saying? Like some people appreciate it, some people don't. Whatever the case may be, I know that Fergal is, you know, hard nose, head down, coming straight at me and wanting to, uh, you know, wanting to take what's mine. And he's young. Well, he's not He's not younger than me, but he's undefeated. Uh, and, you know, I've been in that position before. Um, title challenger, undefeated um, on the B side. So, you know what I'm saying? I know what's at stake. And I know this is the this is one of the shots to catapult my career. Lamont, you've always tell me if I'm right or wrong, but you kind of you've always struck strike me as the kind of fighter that you kind of need your like like uh like um uh like Coach was saying last week uh, need your buttons pushed a little bit. Um, is that is that am I right in feeling that way? You kind of need somebody to come after you to kind of turn you on and get you into your rhythm. And is that what you guys are looking for from free girl? Uh, not really. It can help. It definitely can help, but I don't think so. Um, I, after the Jamel fight, it was just like you know, it's 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 just been a switch that's just been turned on. It's just like no matter what, I got to get to it, and um, and I'm always going to perform. So whatever the case may be, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna get after it for sure. What did you learn from that first championship uh, fight with Jamel Harrington? That got you to this point and being world champion. Um, that they that they aren't going to give me anything. Got to go take it. I started late that fight. Um, we knew that 
we weren't going to get a decision on the cards or at least a close one. Um, top rank show. We, we was with Golden Boy. Top rank show. He's the champ. Um, the weekend catering to his, uh, you know, his career uh, outside of boxing and stuff like that. Um, big story on him. Everything like that is just Jamel, 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 everything. And then you have the challenge of me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just started late. I was on the verge of getting close to what, I mean, you know what I'm saying, getting to what I wanted to achieve, but I just started too late. I think if I would have started earlier, I would have knocked them out. We got uh, we got your opponent figure on, on the line as well. Have you had... I think he very, might, have, might very, not have been able to make it. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah oh, McCoy's okay. not able to join. Oh, okay. No, no biggie. I'm, I misread that, I suppose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no no biggie. Listen, um, you got an Irish kid coming in front of you. Uh, we know that he 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 he's aggressive. Uh, Southpaw. Southpaw as well, and it, the power. I can't tell. Does it is, does it look real to you? Is that you know? What do you think about your opponent? Uh, I think he's like you said, gritty, tough. Um, and to me, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, it, it looked like his keys to success are his uh, is his grit and his his will, I guess, um, and his his pressure, but. Excuse me. I've been in there with plenty of other, plenty of guys who have pressure, uh, plenty of guys who actually punch hard. So it's not, it wouldn't be no different. Um, I mean, like in the actual fight, not just sparring or anything like that. I've been in there with some like some heavy handed guys. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just another day in the office. You know, I just got to be on my, I just got to be on my game, uh, bring my A game and show that, show that I'm levels above him, honestly. And Lamar, this is probably a moment that you dreamed of, winning the world title and come back home and defend it. How special is it? Man, it's very special. It's, it's very special. Uh, I promised my fans and my family and friends in 2017 when I uh, when I last for here that I win a world title and I defend it at home. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So uh, to do it in my first fight as a uh, as my first as my first defense is crazy. How, how do you go about? Uh, making a statement when, you know, obviously the statement, the ideal statement is a stoppage, but we've seen a lot of fighters, you know, show and explain why you can't get caught up too much in what the fans want to see. You know, winning is first and foremost. So how do you go about, you know, maybe getting that stoppage, but not not feeding into things that could get you off the game plan and, and yeah, all of that? Uh, establishing control from the break, uh, even if he wants to come forward, you know, controlling the ring, controlling the pace. Uh, I know how to do that coming forward, moving, uh, lateral movement, whatever the case may be. But um, And being able to work when I want to work, not letting him dictate anything. Um, and, and he's going to be surprised if he thinks I don't have any power or anything like that, just like everybody else, honestly. Um, it's he, he Once he makes a mistake, <laughs> once he makes a mistake, it's, it's going to be – it might be curtains because once I once I see it, I'm gonna take it. You 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 had some uh, some fun back and forth, I think, with um, Oshaki Foster, WBC champion. Um, mm. What do you you know? Just thinking about you, you obviously right now, Friday's the That's only right. thing on your mind. But what do you think's the best unification fight in the division? Maybe what's maybe also the most realistic unification fight? Is it Navarrete? Is it the other Irish? Are you gonna go back to back Irish kids fight McCrory and then fight Kakachi? For the IBF or or something something with top rank with Navarrete or Foster. Well, uh, I think the most, uh, I think on a on a level playing field, I think they're all uh, e equally realistic because once again, I'm not signed with a big promoter. Um, I'm a free agent. I'm a free agent, and you know I have the leverage as uh, far as where I want to go or where I can go, and um, you know as long as the business is right. I think the the best unification right now is me versus uh, Oshaki. Honestly, I fighting think on so. back to back weekends. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, lining up. It just it just, it, it just makes sense. That's what, that's all I'm gonna say. It just makes sense. Uh, you know. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get in touch again because we tried, we tried, and um, it did, it just didn't work. Mm -hmm. But uh, we definitely tried, and I think that. I think I think it could happen. I think it could happen. I have a mandatory that um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be bugged about, but uh, <laughs> hopefully, 
you know, hopefully we get the uh, uh, exempt to to unify, and that would be that would be crazy. Fantastic. Hey, listen, Lamont. Thanks for joining the Portaway Podcast. Good luck Friday night, and uh, we we look forward to seeing the fight. All right, thank you. And have me back on so I can talk to the trash after it. I 100% want to have you back on. Hey, stay humble right now. Perfect. Get yeah, on, yeah, do your yeah. thing Friday. We have you back on on Sunday. All right, for sure. Hey, thank listen, you. McCory, get it, though. I got to get, I gotta get him on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. But that ain't going to happen. So. All right. Hey, you got to bring so Pops back, too. Got, yes, sir. And Yeah, yeah. And come on with, your, with yeah. your dad as well. God bless you, big dog. All right, same to you. Y'all take care. Mrs. Thanks, Jonas, you still you. there? I'm still here. There he is. Listen, uh, final words from you, sir. Uh, you got a great uh, car coming up Friday night. Pro Box TV. Anything else you want us to say? Want us to say before uh, before we get out of here? No, I appreciate you, Sean, and you guys. I appreciate being on. And and look, I, I hope the fans tune in, um, download the app, and watch it on all your big screen TVs. It's available on all of them. So. Um, and it should be a, a fun night of fights. The undercard, that's Lamont Roche Sr.'s No Excuse Promotion undercard starts at 5.30. It'll run to 7.30, and we'll do uh, some sort of pregame. And um, and then it'll kick off at 8 p.m. Um, so it should be a hell of a fight. We've got Ben Johnson, a top, top amateur kid who's making his pro debut to, to sort of start the night as an appetizer with Rihanna Rios afterwards, female fighter who's a – a contender, and then nine o'clock, it gets it gets serious with three ten the two ten rounders that I mentioned before, and then of course the uh, the main event championship fight. So should be a fun night, and uh, hope to see hope everyone tunes in. Perfect, thank you, Gary. You guys have a good one. All right, God bless you on fight night. Likewise, appreciate you guys. Thanks, thanks, Gary. Thank you.